All right, folks, today I'm gonna show you guys a cool rig that I like to do during the early winter. I mean, it's fall right now, but based on the water temperature, you guys see it's 43.6, and it's end of November. It's technically a winter for certain fish species. And today we're targeting some crappies. We have some white crappies and black crappies. And I'm showing you a rig that I like to use and it's often used by saltwater anglers, this high-low rig. Now, a lot of crappie anglers like to use a double jig rig during cold water season to comb for those a fish that's still feeding. There's a lot of forage out there. So what we're doing here today, we're doing a high-low rig and I have a Aberdeen size one hook. You guys can use an Aberdeen size two as well if the crappies are smaller. And I like these Aberdeen hooks because it's long shanked and it unhooks the fish easier and also prevents short strike. But I have a polymer knot right here. You see that? With an extra tag end, that's pretty long. And once you tied your polymer hook uh, knot, you take your tag end and you basically stick it back into the hole from the top side. See the hook right here is facing top. So when you actually have the weight down with a jig, this thing is always facing upwards. So when you set the hook, always get that roof of that crappy. Okay, now I'm just gonna put a 16th ounce jig head on. And today we're gonna do, use some Lake Fork, their trophy lures. And this is a, uh, yeah, I'll show you the bag right here. Bam, look at that, live baby shad. And I have a white on the bottom and I'm gonna use a black and chartreuse. This is a must have color for any sort of uh, crappy fisherman. So uh, yeah, we'll see what they kind of hone into. So, uh, you know, later on in the day, if I want to switch back to a one uh, color, you know, I could switch to the color that's been biting more. So I'm gonna tie this here. You guys do whatever you guys want. I usually like to do a loop knot, but uh, since today is cold water anyway, I just gotta do a uni knot, okay? Got a jig tied. Now I'm just gonna thread this guy through. And there you have it, okay? The Hilo Jig Rig. So guys, I am in a cove area. The channel have all the fish right there. It's kind of where they're stacked up. The more active fish are kind of swimming around a cove. So I'm out of coves, just casting, and I'm gonna start casting towards the, the main channel underneath that bridge there. But uh, having this high low rig is actually really great because it slows down the fall. So right now I have a 16th ounce jig head. So instead of having a double jig, which you know makes it sink faster, this one right here will be perfect. And plus, if you hit the bottom, you can always just twitch it a little bit and your it's basically like a drop shot, right? The higher rig will be higher off the bottom and the fish will see it easier. And oh, I just had a bite. But uh, yeah, that should get you guys a lot of fish. There we go. Tap, tap. All right, first fish is the white one. And you guys can see the fish are at the bottom, all at the bottom here. You guys see that? All right, let me put them back in and we'll keep fishing. Oh, that was another fish. All right, all right. So they, they do like it near the bottom. So I basically get it close to the bottom as possible and just basically twitch it. Oh, there's one right there. Oh yeah. Still hitting the, the jig right now. And we have ourselves a white crappie. All right, my goal today is to catch two fish at the same time. You guys think I could do it? There's a ton of, oh. Got him. Ah, he hit the high rig this time. Look at that. So, so far, two to one, white. Hey, hey, easy, easy, easy. And off he goes. More fish to come. Let's try vertical jigging now. I'm right here. Might as well give us a shot. You see, there's a ton of crappies in the bottom and then there's some shad swimming up top. If I stay very quiet and let this thing fall to the bottom, I might be able to get a feel from the bite. Nope. Ay! Got him. Did I headshot him? 
Uh oh. I know he hit it. Yep, I had shot him. Oh, came off. All right, into this channel. Got him. All right. Small guy. I'm gonna do this for hours. In fact, I'm gonna do this for hours. Here we go. Oh, hit the high rig. That's what I'm talking about. Sometimes it gets a little tangled, but uh, it's well worth it. Get it from here. There we go. Oh no, out of batteries. Got him. Got him. Oh yeah. Hit the high rig. Here we go. In you go. Oh, that was twice hit. Got him. Got him. Let's see, he hit the top one. Top one it is. All right. Got him. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Man, it's like it's four small little crappies. Uh oh. Small little crappies. Winter time fun. Oh yeah. The high rig. Guys, are you seeing this? I think I found it. Holy smokes. Let me mark this. Um, just mark this as fish. Cast it out behind me for a second. Holy smokes, that's a lot of fish. Look, that's all of it. All the fish right here. Oh yeah. Yo, what the heck? I caught a shad. I caught a shad. Look, guys, I actually caught a shad. Right in the mouth, right there. Holy smokes. Big gizzard shad. Well, not big, but you know, this is a bait size. I probably catch some big fish off this. But you know what? Off it goes. Got 
Got him. Oh, that's a good one. All right, guys, I'm gonna leave this spot because I don't know if they're using fish finder or anything, but they jacked my spot over there. I'm telling you guys, this is a good rig to find fish, but I'm just gonna leave this spot. It's like my other buddy, and I got, you know, I'm sure they're locals, but <laughs> they kind of raided our spot. So anyway, winter fishing, high-low rig, you guys have to do it. High-low rig, catch them all.